we're on our way over to the Aberfoyle property. Um, our farm manager, Carl Leslie, has <laughs> kindly enough uh, set up these lovely maps for us and an entire plot of everything that we've got growing this season um, based on the fields. So today our main focus is going to be about uh, the weeding plan and the weed management plan here at Everdale. So we're going to be learning about how to put together a weed management plan. We've give, been given some criteria, we've been given the map, now it's basically we're on our own as farm, mock farm managers to go out and create a successful weed management plan. We've got one day, a member of eight crew, we have to think about what type of tools we have and what time and the priority and we're going to see what we can get from that. Up to something as high as 40 tons an acre per field for a really heavy application. So what I started by doing was figuring out what 40 tons per acre means in terms of... Wait. Mm -hmm. No. Well, here it is. Danny Brome had it. There's comfy grass. So what have, what have you learned with all these weeds? Point them out to me again. Chickweed, mustard, about uh, these sort of arrangements in the past uh, in... Uh, before they know it. Yeah. They, like, yeah. They are being, like, completely divided and they're, they're pretty much in poverty. So now you know what the, the crop plan is. So where are you going to get your... So if you say to yourself... Oh. Okay, so then you could just to get it. To, uh, so the cover crop that we were trying to... We were going to use would just be to... Occupy that's the amount of nitrogen that will be incorporated into the soil. Okay. So Tom, maybe if you wanted to just pick one and fill it out and see what you observe, or you want to That you'd have to harvest 400 bunches or whatever. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't be that, but you'd have to harvest 300, so I can't. That promotes soil health are critically important to the long-term viability of farming. This poses a challenge for many commercial vegetable farms. But it's to reevaluate Southern Ontario's land base because we have seen very, very little land. Okay. Yeah, it's almost like describing the soils in Ontario. There we go. I'm going to say a 10YR. Sort of nailed it almost on the. And as you get deeper, 